thank you for tuning in to Watch Six Though. My name is Six Though. Today's review is on my Addis Dive Watch. It's a, a homage to a Captain Willard. The Captain Willard. Uh, forgot the reference number for that version of the Seiko. I'll put it uh, somewhere in here. The reference model of, the, of that watch. And I'm going to also place an image of the current watch that took over the mantle of the of the, of the case of the Willard, which was, we all know, and I'm pretty sure some of us do love it. It was um, the Seiko Turtle, the triple, the triple seven, and now they changed the reference model. But this guy has a, 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 a can't even speak, a synthetic crystal on there, a sapphire crystal. So it's like a mirror-like version, which it's not too bad because uh, right now I'm filming this on my lunch break in my truck. Uh, like like I said in my other videos, if you guys watch them, I wear my watch even at work. Look how the light flares on it, or actually plays. You can see like the rainbow in there, which is pretty cool. It's um, it has two different looms on there. Uh, the BGW, I believe, it should be on the bezel, and the Swiss um, Swiss uh, C3 Superluminova on the on the hour markers in the hands I'll place a what do you call that a uh, what do you yeah I put a b-roll of the loom on it I like the, the loom is better in person it's on a, a push pin setup with the stamp deployment clasp safety just a dual pusher with the safety latch it's, uh, I have it set up for my seven and three quarter inch wrist. I'll give you a wrist shot. But this little guy, uh, from from here to here, it's at a forty six point eight millimeters. The thickness is at thirteen point five. Twenty mil lugs. Uh, from the the what do you call it? The nine and three measured it at a, a forty three point eight. 120 rotational clip bezel which is I have not had issues with it it seems lined up to be perfectly fine it kind of has a little back play that's like another downfall but once you get into a, the, uh, a sweet spot where you almost go all the way around I had that all set I'll show you right now because if you're here you got a little back wiggle, but when you go over it, it locks into place. Uh, so far, this is my first Addis dive I ever had. I like. Uh, I wanted to uh, mod my own version of the Captain Willard. The case that I found, this bad boy, was sitting at uh, uh, six hundred dollars just for the case with no uh, crystal, but I had the bezel case back. I had to provide the uh, the movement, which speaking of the movement, it's an NH35 movement, which the cycle is, you know, it's a workhorse that has a 41 uh, power reserve. Uh, it's minus 20 plus 40 seconds per day. So far, I have not seen it to uh, look, lose track. Screw down crown. If I could get all the way out, usually have a pop, but once to change the date, and the final one, as you can see, it has the movement. Now it's free to change the time. Then push it into, you could get the hand winding movement. Then pull out once. Then wait. Then you can change the date. Then once you're done, you screw the crown in. It's rated at 200 meters, so 660, uh, 660 feet. So I don't, I don't plan on diving that deep, but at least I know the watch is there to withstand. That could get pretty, could get wet. 
without having to worry about messing up the movement. Let me pan out. Here it is on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. Like I said, I'm using my truck is to record. So far, the only thing I will change is the fact that the bezel, or the bezel, the bracelet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.